guys welcome back so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i've been doing this super cool new finger curl method that i've seen on instagram a while back um i've been trying it out for a couple months now and i really 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 enjoy it if you watch my previous videos i've done it there and a lot of you guys inquired about it so here's a video this does take some time to do you guys it takes a little while actually but you by no means have to do your entire head just a few coils here and there can make such a huge difference in the shape and definition of your curls and i highly recommend this routine to any newly transitioning naturals first and foremost what you're going to do is take your good old water bottle and you're going to spray your hair down make sure it's nice and moisturized then i'm going to go in with a leave-in this is my favorite leave-in for styles like these because it is so thick and moisturizing just gonna go ahead rake that through my hair then on top i'm gonna add my texture id multi styling foam for a little extra hold do a little pump of that and put that through the section as well what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our section and we're gonna split it up into an even tinier section about the size of a regular curl we're gonna smooth it and then start tucking the hair underneath itself over and over until it creates this nice loop effect then when we get to the end, we just let it go to reveal a very beautiful, shiny curl. Now if you missed it, we're going to do it again in slow motion. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, guys. It takes a couple tries. So we're smoothing it, tucking it underneath itself to create a nice loop effect, kind of like a ribbon. And then we're just going to let it go and let it fall to its beautiful shape. If you wanted to achieve an even tighter curl, you can just do it with one finger like this. Just to really, really, really make sure you guys can get it, here's also a side view. Now once you're done, if you choose to, you can just carry this motion throughout the rest of your hair. So after coiling, you're just going to want to take a piece of paper towel or an old t-shirt or microfiber towel, whatever you got, and just dry up all the excess moisture in your curls, coils I mean, in your coils. After that, you're just going to take your blow dryer. If you have a diffuser, you guys, use your diffuser. But if you just have an open blow dryer like me, that is totally fine. Use what you got. Make sure it's on medium to low heat. Nothing crazy. No high heat. We don't want to damage our curls in the process. And yeah, just dry out the moisture. So now after drying, I'm just going to go ahead in with my all-time favorite DIY shine and growth oil. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my scalp. You guys know I swear by scalp massages. Do not have to take it myself. It is the best thing you can ever do for your hair. As you can see, my hair is nice and shiny and voluminous without even taking the curls apart. But now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put some of that oil on the other side, make it even shinier. Then we're going to start uncoiling our hair. When you take apart your coil, it should want to come apart naturally. The bottom should not be snagging, it should not be puffy, it should just be a nicely well moisturized curl and it should look really natural. And that's why I like this method more than regular finger coiling because with regular finger coiling you take apart the coil and it's like a coil you know and your hair isn't voluminous it's just a bunch of coils and it looks really weird sometimes but this looks incredibly natural um and it just looks like you had a super bomb wash day so yeah guys take apart your coil make sure you moisturize well So 
After taking the coils apart, I personally love to pick my hair out and get it as big as possible with as much little frizz as possible. Um, I'm a volume for you guys. I do not really care for definition that much. I love volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and just really pick it out. I also like to oil my pick just to get some more shine in there and, you know, for health purposes, but it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and finish up. So after all is said and done you guys, this is what we are working with. My curls are very, very, very defined, very shiny, very voluminous, and this is what finger coiling should be. I've hated finger coiling for such a long time because it left my hair super flat, but this method makes my hair look like, you know, I just washed it and it was just a really good hair day. There's tons of movement and I love it. Again, I could not recommend this method enough to my transitioning curly girls and curly guys out there. If you have straight ends, this is such a good way to kind of train your curls to be more coily and just, you know, to cooperate. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. I cannot thank you enough. I love you guys. Stay safe. Let me know what you want to see in the future and I'll see you in the next one.